Patchy the Pirate presents... Ahoy! Ah! It's a SpongeBob SquarePants special! I don't need to introduce this game to you. You saw the thumbnail and title. You know I am talking about the remake to the most beloved licensed video game to date, being SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. So let's just get right into finally talking about Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Before the game was announced, people were always wanting a remake or a remaster of this game. Ever since the failure of Robotic Revenge and Hero Pants, Activision lost their license to make Sony video games. So fans were in limbo, hoping Nickelodeon would find a developer soon, wanting to make Sony games once again. Then in March of 2018, THQ, now known as THQ Nordic, took the license back and people were thrilled to hear this as the article mentions comebacks for many old Nickelodeon games in the future, and obviously Spongebob was the star of the show. We wouldn't hear of it again until June 5th, 2019, when we got this video uploaded by THQ Nordic. They confirmed the remake of Balfour Bikini Bottom, and it was called Balfour Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. On the same day was a Pokemon Sword and Shield Direct. While it was exciting as well, the internet went even more nuts about a remake of a Spongebob video game. Something people were curious about though, was that it wasn't Heavy Iron who came back to help remake Balfour Bikini Bottom, but instead a different developer team called Purple Lamp Studios. Some people were uncertain if Purple Lamp would do well in remaking this childhood masterpiece. Then in August, we got gameplay and it looked great from as we got to see a peek at Jellyfish Fields. Finally, a whole year after the announcement trailer, the game was released on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch, and a few months later, on mobile. So, after how long away this remake was, did it live up to the expectations, or did it drop on the deck and flop like a fish? Let's figure that out. The game's plot is obviously the same as the original. Plan to create a machine to make a robot army, but in true Doofenshmirtz fashion, it was set to do not obey, and he gets tossed out by his robots. Meanwhile, SpongeBob Patrick wished they had real robots to play with, so with using Patrick's magic wishing shell, in the morning, robots have wreck havoc on Bikini Bottom. Already, the cutscenes are great and they look really good. The only issue with me is that some of them seem to be off sync and wouldn't match the audio to the mouths. Might just be me, but I don't know. Each of the characters had some changes to them. SpongeBob can now jump once and then bull bash instead of just bull bashing on the ground. Or that Patrick can hit in midair and has a faster ground pound if you jump once, then ground pound. When it comes to how the levels look, I really love what they did to the hub world and Jellyfish Fields. Both areas look so much better than their counterparts in the original. Another thing you can notice is that the robot designs were updated. I like these changes as they add more life to the robot enemies you fight through the game. I am a bit salty about the hammer enemy as he doesn't actually hit you with ham, but it's a metal like hammer painted to look like ham. Otherwise, I love the new design for Slick, who is my favorite looking robot alongside Chuck. Although, when it comes to voice lines in the game, they kept the original voice lines from the original, which means we wouldn't get to hear Clancy Brown do his lines. In the original, Mr. Krabs and Mermaid Man were both done by Joe White, who also voiced Mermaid Man in Employee of the Month. While it was a bummer not to hear Clancy Brown voice Mr. Krabs in the remake, it does help stay true to the original by keeping it in. As for the music tracks in the game, Purple Lamp kept the music the same, but just give it a bit of a refresh to sound a bit better. The differences are barely noticeable, but it's still the same good music from Balfour BQ Bottom that you remember.
So, in the end, was Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrate a good remake? Honestly, after being the game 100%, it really is a well done remake. While I still have a soft spot for the original, Rehydrated does Battle for Bikini Bottom justice when it came to bringing back nostalgic feels of playing the original on the GameCube. Purple Lamp did great, and I cannot wait to see what they do with Cosmic Shake, since it's considered a spiritual sequel to Battle for Bikini Bottom. I highly recommend buying the game or playing it again before Cosmic Shake releases. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to see my thoughts and opinions on the other Swindow games, then be sure to check out my Swindow video games playlist linked in the description below or on my channel page. Anyways, I will see you all in the next video.